fight my game. Oh boy, should be a good one tonight. Oh, wrestling fans, Dole King with the Entosa of the home of Earth. The fire and the storm. We got a lot of stuff going on here, but the big news is that we do not have a contender name to go against Christopher tonight. Maybe if Chris, when Chris back comes out here, we'll find out about it. But we got winner take all, Keith Kenny against Aldis, NWA versus Universal title on the line. And other prizes for Aldis if he can beat Joe Kenny tonight. It's going to be a good one, I got a feeling. On the last day of January of this year, already one month is already over with in 2020. I think Musty Wrestling had a pretty productive month, I'll tell you that much right now. Did you have a productive month? Hopefully you, hopefully you guys did. Hopefully the rest of 2020 is uh, productive for yes, too. That was been productive for this guy right here, Chris Pat. See what's going on with this right now. Always great to see Chris Bat. I'll tell you that much right now. Such a such a uh, scholar and gentleman that comes out here to the ring and everything else. Yeah, I give it up to him. Also on the card tonight, I think we're gonna have uh Gallows and Anderson's gonna go against Ronnie Taylor and Jerry Bennett. The tag team champions are not here tonight because maybe boys in Canada right now. Uh, he had to go there last uh, last night uh, after uh, for a World Cup call for in Canada, which he did not win, but Edge did. But he promises, Emmett Pillman promises that next week uh, when, on Wednesday, Big Time Wrestling Wednesday, he will, they will defend the titles. That's all right. There's still a uh, Tri American Tag Team title match. And look at that guy right there, Chris Pat. No love him. Great to see him. I'll tell you that much right now. What he's got and uh, what news he's got with everybody else here. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another Friday night edition as we're in Tulsa, Oklahoma for the fire and the storm. Yeah, basically, one of the big matches we got signed tonight. Winner take all, NWA World Champion Nick Aldis against the Universal Champion Joe Kenny. But, he, but that's only a tip of the iceberg for Aldis. If Aldis wins, I guess uh, New Japan will be concerned to put him in that matchup for the IWGP title February 9th when they go to and they go to Japan for a, a new beginning. So it will not only be Naito and Kenna challenging Crichton, it might be Aldis too. Also on the card tonight, I found out that Sarah Perry does not have a contender, so tonight we're going to have a six-woman barroom brawl. I uh, oh no, a six-woman ladder match to decide who's going to get the contract to wrestle Sarah Perry for the... Uh, MSW women's title later on tonight.
Uh oh. Wait a minute, who's going? Uh oh, it's the NSW World Champion. Now, this has been news today. I guess Christopher does not have a uh, contender for the uh, his title tonight. I wonder what Christopher has got to say about this since this is his home state. And look at that. Oh man. And look at Christopher just oh also thrilled. Look at him. This kid is living a dream here in Muslim Wrestling. You may call it weird, you may call it whatever, it's happiness. Christopher's got some happiness in him, son. Being the champion, I'll tell you that much right now. He is proud to be the MSW World Champion. Don't, don't let the shenanigans fool you, he is. Mr. Bat, I got a problem that solution. I got a solution to that problem, my friend. I'll tell you that much right now. I know there's a uh, Chad. I know Chad Foreman gave up the TV title. I also know there's a lot of situations going on here. So I have a proposal. And let me tell you that much right now. Jupy Wilma, listen, sir. No, in that case, yeah, I'd be willing to listen. I'll tell you that much right now. What do you propose? That's what I want right now. What do you propose? That's the question. I will, I, I will take any suggestion, my friend. Please lay it on me. How about we make the first match? I have a list of people on this sheet of paper. And there's a, there's a significant reason why I have them on here. An eight-man ballroom wall. We'll make it the first match, so when it gets to be the main event, we'll be to win the title. They have enough rust to go at me one-on-one -on -one tonight. I'll tell you that much right now. And this list of paper that you have. What's significant about it with these uh, eight men that you, eight names you have on the list? That's what I want to know right now. We got there. What is it, sir? What can I help you with today, Mr. Opus? Oh, no? what can I help you with? Since Sarah Perry last week wanted a different change of pace by wrestling somebody that has never been in this federation, never held the MSW women's title, I have an idea. The eight men I have on this list is simple. They have never held the MSW World Championship. That's what it is. Wow. You know, I'm willing to do that for you. I, you know, I'm willing to take that fresh ones. I mean, I'm, I mean, I don't mind the Lorenzos, I don't mind the Wilchells, or the Troytons, or Ryan Fishers, or anybody else. But you know what? You bring up a valid good point, sir. I'm going to accept it. I'm going to take your challenge. Let me see who's on this list. Interesting, I'll tell you who. Eli Drake. Royce Isaacs. Adam Strange, Meacher, Brett, among some of the names on that list. And I'll tell you what right now, Ethan Walker is also on that list too. I mean, these are guys that never, that ever held the title in must-see wrestling. They do have a valid point, sir. I gotta admit that much right now. I'll consider it done. I'm gonna go on my cell phone here in a moment Tell the people, tell the assistants in the back that we need these eight guys out here for this match. I'm going to look at This is going to be exciting. I'll tell you that much right now. This is going to be very exciting. I like ki I like kids like you that put a, that, that kind of like put a push idea into this. Like you and everybody else. I mean, uh, it's people like you that basically care what the fans want. That's the reason why I can see why you're so beloved in this federation, and I couldn't be happier to have a world champion like you, like you here, uh, Mr. Focus. Take care, sir. Wow. I heard that correctly. Eight man, uh, probably all going to happen next. Stipulation is, it's going to be eight people that never had a shot to touch. Generation as long as they've been Muslim. 
It's just nuts. I mean, uh, I, you know, I don't like this, man. This is great. I can't wait. Wow. Oh, look at this. I see the list. Holy cow. Let me go over this correctly. Wow. Teacher. Eli Drake. Katsua Naito. Wow. Adam Strange. Royce Isaacs, Brett, MJ, Ethan Walker are the eight names that have been picked for this. Eight-man barroom brawl, and later on in the main event, the winner of this match will be in a shot at Christopher and his MSW title. Look on that. Christopher's a very tough. Creighton thought he had to answer for him last week when he caught him calling with the uh, code breaker out midair. But that proved to be nothing because Christopher would manage to hit him with two tornado DTs and make him tap out to the sleeper for the victory. Well, not exactly tap out. Basically, no response. Yo, let's get to this one, folks. It's going to be terrible. So this is going to be a wild uh, eight-man bout. And we know how a uh, ballroom ball match works. Balls count anywhere. Pinfall, submission, KO. Here comes uh, the second generation match. wrestler, Making the, his son way Adam, to the, ring. the son of Adam, the son of Chaz Foreman, the grandson Weighing of uh, at 240 pounds, Adam Sturgeon. Has a lot of rich family bloodlines, basically. Adam Strange married a Monica Del Rey, who was in, under scrutiny because we heard rumors that she was messing around with Brian Pillman Jr. in the back. So we're trying to find proof on that. Knows. Maybe it's somebody that doesn't like Adam who decided to start that trouble. Who knows? Look at this, yeah, it's a uh, 
tag team partner on one side. And Since, of course, from these Denver, two have rolled out a couple matches. Weighing in at 230 pounds, the champ, Roy Isaac. He lost the titles to Pillman uh, Smith. As uh, Pillman Smith would become the first team to defeat Strange and Isaacs in two-on-two -two action. No wild card tag team. So it wasn't a triple threat match. They had no excuses. Isaacs was pinned by Pillman. And then what happened on uh, Monday night, the tables match. Isaacs was put through the table by Davey Boy Smith for the victory. If you did not get a chance to watch that match, check out our Monday Mayhem replay. Hell of a matchup between these four uh, young uh, athletes. Pillman, Smith, Isaacs, and Strange. I'll tell you that much right now. Just nuts. Right. Here's number two. And from Japan. Ah, uh, here comes Tatsuya Knight, the Domino, or Domino. This guy has been very dominant. He's the current IWGP Intercontinental Champion. Here comes Gret. Going for all the uh, people to make entrances, and I'm going to go downstairs real quick Northern with the refreshment stand and get something to drink. I will be back. 250 pounds, Garrett O. The Tool.
And from Los Angeles, California, weighing in at 234 pounds, Eli Drake. And here's Eli Drake. This guy had a very good weekend last weekend. He wasn't with us in MSW, but he was at NWA Hard Times on pay-per-view, where uh, him and James Storm won the uh, NWA Tag Team titles in a triple threat match, also involving the Rock and Roll Express, and one of his opponents who was tagged up with Tom Larimer. We're talking about Royce Isaacs. Here comes MJ. And from Cleveland, Ohio, weighing in at 177 pounds, MJ. MJ did have a shot at the M MSW World Title when uh, Aaron Von Farkas was champion. He gave it his all, but this guy, this small stature guy cannot knock over the giant that was known as Aaron Von Farkas at the time. He uh, looked like beyond his hand. Might be on his uh, tail here tonight, and uh, maybe he can win himself a title shot in a barroom ball and go against Christopher later on in the main event. Like I said, very important here. Winner of this match gets to go against Christopher in the main event tonight. It'd be awesome. Should be awesome. So we got coming up next. Oh, the big man, Meacher. And oh, from boy. Cleveland, Ohio. Oh man, this is gonna be a 40 pounds. Tyler Megan. There he is, folks. He is the bodyguard to Corey Crichton and his wife and his wife to be Melody Tonic. The rumors I keep hearing is that uh, uh, Melody and Croyton are planning to get married in Japan. That's right, because I guess they like Japan so much, they're, gonna, they're planning to get married down there. Croyton tonight, I guess, has been picked to be in the uh, World TV title uh, eight-man match tonight, along with several others. Well, I think we're going to see Ethan Walker come out here. That was what Christopher's big request was for this eight-man match. That they're going to decide a contender. That you wanted to make sure they were all people that did not hold the MSW World Title, which is very respectful on the part of uh, Mr. Hovis. Stuff. I'll tell you that much right now. He wants to give the he wants to give the competition a fair chance. From California. Weighing in at Oh, wait a minute. We just got a uh, note here from the uh, production. Ethan Walker. There's going to be a uh, World Cup qualifying match for Spain tonight. That's right. And here at Tulsa, where it's going to be, oh, man, get this. John Monaco against Lorenzo? Are you kidding me? The tri American title is going to be on the line? Oh, my gosh. Double prize there is. Where Winza gets not only the title, but also gets the uh, qualification spot to represent Spain in the World Cup. This, this card's starting to build up here lately. 
ladies and gentlemen. Her car that's been shrouded in mystery. Now we're finding out everything, basically. Wow. Here we go, folks. The other guy, Drake Credit, he came close to winning the Great Lakes title from uh, Ace Angel in that uh, eight-man uh, Great Lakes ball that they had. Well, there's a lot of great competitors in there that could do a lot of damage. Oh, and like right there, Lido just throwed MJ with that DT. Where is going right for Isaacs? I think Gray has not forgotten when Isaacs pinned them in that five-man elimination match inside a shot at the champion at one time. The champion at the time was called Wolfpack member Robert McManus. Oh boy! Oh, I thought he was going to go for hush money. It looked like it was. But it didn't turn out to be that way. Isaacs going right to Gray here. Oh, Flapjack, and look, and we should just put Ethan Walker. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, oh man. He sure is a beast right now against that uh, Ethan Walker. You don't have to realize there's three members actually of the winner's circle here. Which, of course, is the bodyguard to uh, Clayton. Then you got the former tag team champions, Isaacs and Strange. Of course, uh, it is back on record that none of these guys never held. The uh, MSW World Title, along with the number five in this ring. And uh, will I try to go for a quick pin on each one? It doesn't work. Oh, look at that. Partners going in on the outside. Isaacs and Strange. Oh, good God. Partners has got anything to do with the uh, two losses that happened. Oh, Oh, man, drilled him with a forearm shot. And Grid, I think he just nailed Walker with a tombstone pile driver. I wasn't too sure I was not paying attention. Sorry about that, fans. And, oh, we got to do that again, Mr. Mister Technical Assistant? Does it work? Man, I want to sit out power bomb there by Fritch. Shades of like Batista and Ahmed Johnson. Oh, and Grit gets caught by Walker and eats a vicious piece of the jaw. And Strange takes down Walker with a nice uh, spinning heel kick. And Isaacs, man, I'll tell you what, man. Are we going to see? Uh, are we going to see an implosion of a tag team maybe down the road? I hope not. Oh no, fans would hope so because that would, oh you know, uh, maybe we can the winner circle shut up. Powerful shell. And Isaacs escapes strange. Oh, and uh, now he'll just pick out Walker. And stretch muffler on Eli Drake by Meacher. Oh, Rupsy Arm back. I'm, uh... Right now, MJ's going to be able to escape that uh, triangle choke by, uh, Ritt. That might be the hell escape, but I don't know. It might be... That's, uh, whatever it is, it's a formation of triangle choke. Get out my train. And, uh-oh. Walker and Trolley, he's going to get hit with Hush. Oh! A competitor. Oh, Walker's going to win it by Isaacs. Isaacs a freaking blue chip. I'm, I'm going to tell you about that much right now. Like him or hate him. And Isaacs just took out. And Isaacs just scored a first elimination. And now a neck breaker on Grit. I don't know, is MJ going to send uh, Isaacs a Christmas card on that one? Who knows? Oh, he, he was going to go for the uh, 
kind of like a formation of Serpent Spiral, but uh, M but uh, Grit stopped Matt. Grit and MJ's trying to ruin everybody's reach or uh, show here, basically. A competitor has and been Meacher's eliminated. And Meacher's gone, there's a Levi Drake. There's that flipping backdrop. Six competitors still in. There are five more eliminations inside. Who's going to get the lucky shot against Christopher tonight? Oh, man. Uh, oh. Atomic drop, dragon screw, leg whip combination. Yeah, nice double, nice combo guard by Brett. Oh, he drills a uh, night over that. Tombstone and now Ice. Oh man, Isaac's with the vicious pendulum backbreaker. Uh oh. Oh. Isaacs moves all the way nicely, and Isaacs grabs Grit. Oh, man. Oh, and uh, Grit just got nailed off, off the apron there. And MJ escapes Naito's grasp. I'm impressed with MJ sticking. Oh, I'm, a, I'm impressed with MJ trying to stick around against the veterans here. I give him credit. Uh-oh, where's uh, Isaac's going to do? A competitor and MJ goes down. Idol just uh, got rid of him. Oh, and Isaac's gets denied. Uh-oh. Oh, standing sea fire. Was that ill uh, domino right there? And Drake just got drilled. One, two, a and Isaac comes down. Wow. They're going down quickly here, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, oh, whoa. oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, blow by Eli Drake, and it is legal in this. Our room wall. Oh, gravy train. Wow. I'm actually surprised, uh, wow, I'm actually surprised Drake didn't go for the pin. He showed up. That would have been easy for him. What's uh? What does uh, uh oh? Oh, this is gonna hurt. Oh, double underhook off the off the top rope by uh. Oh it, oh. Oh man, Anaconda Vice coming up by uh. By Nido. Oh, what a drop kick by Strange. And Strange now puts him in the corner. Uh oh. Oh, what a superplex. He's got that uh, camel clutch and modified camel clutch with, with the knee in the back. Oh 
man, he just we got nailed. Holy cow. Oh. I know the dark horse in this match has got to be Adam Strange, but you know what? Watch out for the eye to break. I'll tell you that much right now. Watch out for uh, the, the, the name of our dummies, as he likes to call himself. Idol going for the pin on Strange. Take away Brett's credit. A competitor has been eliminated. Uh oh. Oh, Nido gets out of it. Break is still in it, folks. Adam Strange is just the one that's not in it anymore. If he got pinned by Nido. If he got drove by Grid and, and pinned by Nido. Fall back elbow there by Grit. A competitor has been And Naito is gone. Uh oh, you are Drake working on it. Oh, almost. Almost could have been Eli Drake's chance to shine here. Oh. Oh, close line. Uh-oh. Oh. oh. Damn, what a suplex to slam combination. Maybe that might be it. Oh, Rick keeps ticking out. Oh, wait a minute, uh oh, gravy train. A competitor and he like Drake's gonna go to Russell. He is gonna go Russell Christopher. Holy cow. Eli Drake is going to go Russell Christopher tonight. And uh, the, the golden opportunity eludes Drake once again in six hours. It does not elude Eli Drake. Holy cow. Eli Drake gets the win. What a match to start off the show tonight. I'm telling you. Down, and the downfall continues for Royce Isaacs and, and Adam Strange. You know they were in a tag team competition, but they each uh, both of them failed to get the winner, opportunity Eli tonight. Trey. Well, let's go. What holds in the future for those guys? Are going to still continue to be tag team, or what's going to go on? But Eli Drake, there's there's your guy right there that's going to get the title shot later on tonight. Main event. Stay tuned, folks. The night is still young. Stay tuned. We got, coming up next, Light Heavyweight Championship. Blue Arrow against Jacob Coldblood. The ladder match.
Ah, here we go. Let's get this one going, ladies and gentlemen, shall we? The following contest is a ladder match and is for the Light Heavyweight Championship. Introducing the challenger from Tokyo, Japan, weighing in at 220 pounds, the superstar. Yes, folks, the Blue Arrow. And introducing the champion from Tokyo, Japan, comes, folks, Jacob weighing Cole in Wyatt. at 240 pounds, he is the Sorry, light is heavyweight so champion, right Jacob now. Cole Bland. Here we go, folks. Well, from uh, one exciting match to another one, this should be exciting between East Old Blood and uh, the Blue Arrow. I'll tell you that much right now, man. Going on. I'm pretty sure these two are going to be in that World Cup qualifier for Japan. No doubt about it. I'm going to tell you that much right now. I, you know what? It, you know, it's, a, it's a given bet for sure. I think these guys are going to be in it. Along with the Naitos and Amudas and you know what? Rumors I keep hearing is that maybe the Okadas and the Tanahashis. Masao Tanaka's might be showing up at one too. Jushin Ligers. There's a lot of great people that I'm pretty sure want to be in it. Right now, the champion has the former light heavyweight champion slash challenger. And, oh man, and the kick didn't really go too well.
Oh, post to coach. Wow. Hey, man, that was nasty. Yeah. Uh oh. Oh, he missed the center time. Didn't measure correctly there, folks. Wow. And Blueiro's got a uh, full blown little bit of trouble as he's twisting the knee. A second generation star. How about nervous people today? If I'm John Monaco, I would have to be very nervous. Because not only can win the Tri American title from his uh, cousin Lorenzo, but he can also earn a spot to represent Spain in the World Cup. Oh, what a clothesline by the Man, he came out like a missile against the uh, champion. Cold blood now getting put over the rope. And brought back in the hard way. The humdinger and a half. Uh Cannon Bear came up with, or I think it was uh no wait a minute, it was uh Boy Robertson that came up with that. I'm sorry, I don't I don't want to be cussed out by Floyd. I mean Floyd, uh, Boy, yeah, Floyd is an overexcitable person, but he's a he's a pretty nice person once you get to know him. Oh, pushes out the ladder from underneath. Oh boy, look at sure drop a uh, challenger. Looking at getting another rain as light heavyweight champ. Pretty sure that uh Carol Coldblood could have been in if they didn't sign the rematch in that uh in that uh, eight man barroom ball. But uh I'm pretty sure there'll be another opportunity open for him down the road, maybe. I wouldn't doubt it. Oh what a kick. Oh over the top uh Goes over and now Blue Arrow's going for it. Oh boy, better get back in there quickly because he doesn't want his uh doesn't want his title rain any there. Right there and uh oh, Cobra's gonna do. Uh oh, wait a minute. Oh, good God, that was awesome. You better believe it was. Old boy came off the ladder and nailed a. Uh, Whirl with one hell of a moonsault. Holy cow! Whirl struggling to get up to his uh, wimmies. He's getting up there all right, but, yeah, a little bit of struggle in getting up there. But look at that, right there, he's back up there again to go fight another, fight again with up there, but. Oh, man. Sure, just going at it. Bring off punches left and right, and then, oh. Oh, man. And cold blood. It's the nothing but the great sure gravity of falling off that ladder and hitting the mat.
and close and Blue Arrow regains the title. Holy cow, folks. Shocking, I really don't think so. That, you know, it's it's hard to see somebody losing that match, when, especially like both of the competitors in that one. I too. Blue Arrow has regained the title once again. Here is I mean, your winner, you know what? There is a lot of great wrestlers made a career on the uh, heavyweight uh, champion. Yeah, being a great the light heavyweight Superstar. champion. Nelson Royal, Denny Brown, Russ Thornton. Blue Arrow has added his name to that list. Stay tuned, folks. We'll be right back. Oh, look who's there. The, uh, the World Cup participant represented Canada here, Edge. And he knocked uh, Michael Elgin out in that eight-man barroom brawl to uh, win the representation for Canada. Like I said, slowly but surely, we're seeing all the... Uh, Representatives come about once we get all 16. That's when we start the tournament. So far, six. Have, so far, we got seven on the platter here. The eighth one will be named tonight as uh, Lorenzo and Monaco are going to go ahead and decide who's going to represent Spain. There is Edge, folks. He's got to be happy. Considering what he's came back from. You know, some fans, it's really great to be back here. Especially when you are when you had triple bifusion neck surgery nine years ago, and then you had, you had no choice but to call it a career when, you're, when you, you weren't uh, able to wrestle anymore with this. But you know what? I have defied all the odds. I have come back. And I am representing Canada now in the World Cup tournament. And that, you know, it's a dream come true, especially for winning in my hometown. You know, there was a hell of a lot of great competitors in that tournament in that match last night. Kenny Omega, Chris Jericho, Davey Boy Smith Jr., Eric Young, Bobby Roode, the list goes on. I'm going to tell you that much right now. Kevin Owens. You know what? You can't, you can't basically uh, deny it. And I'll tell you that much right now. And there was one tough son of a gun who was in that matchup. I had to knock out the win. And that was Michael Elgin. A guy is a brute. And I'll give him a credit in the world. You know, they have a nasty grip on his shoulder, but you know what? I give him all the credit in the world. Oh, gee, here we go. Said the name, here he is, folks. A mammal, but I don't think the mammal's too happy about losing that match last, uh, last yesterday in Toronto. Oh, boy. This guy is a brute, but you know what? He backs it up. There he is, folks. Big Mike is, says on his tight. So, Mr. Copeland, yes, you have made the impossible comeback. Now you would compete in a Royal Rumble after retiring after nine years. You have come back and won the uh, Canada representation for the World Cup. I'm going to ask you a favor. I'm going to ask you a favor, Edge. And what would that be, Elvin, huh? What would that be? I know you probably got to be not too happy about being knocked out. I would have rather pinned you in the ring than to knock you out. You know? But what am I going to do? It's a ballroom brawl. That's what the rules are.
Well, let me tell you something right now, Edge. I got an idea. How about this? Wanna pin me in the ring? Well, that's fine. I got an idea. How about one-on-one -on -one tonight? You gotta put that representation from Canada on the line of the World Cup. If you win, I can't complain anymore. And if you win, I guess you get the representation from Canada. You know what? I wouldn't mind. That's fine. I'll take it. I accept your challenge, Elvin. Because I'm not going to run away from a challenge. You were expecting me to run away, weren't you? But you know what? I'm going to deny you that request to run away and give you your match. Oh, you're a man of power, Edge. I'm going to tell you that much right now. You're a man of power, but you know what? Do you really want to risk that neck against me? Do you really want to? I know power bombs. I know burning hammers. I know a hell of a lot of moves that can rupture your neck and decapitate you in the middle of the ring. I'll tell you that much right now. I see what you did. And you know what? I'm not stupid. I, I study the opponents. And you know what, Elgin? I'm going to be watching out for that. I know that's going to be another thing that I do is protect my neck and my representation. But you know what? With these great fans in my corner, I'm going to do it. I'm going to overcome it and I'm going to defeat you. <laughs> oh! Elgin just hit me. Oh, are you kidding me? What the heck? Oh, jeez. But Edge is coming back here, ladies and gentlemen. Uh-oh. Oh, he's got him in a trio. Whoa. Joey Lawrence not included. And there's a kick by Edge. This is going to be an interesting matchup, I got a feeling. Now that we know it's going to be signed. Oh, and Edge, uh, man, I'll tell you what, Edge, the KG veteran that he is, he's, uh, countering everything that Elgin's got. Elgin looked good in that thing last night. I mean, basically went to, to another powerhouse in Davey Boy Smith Jr. Over the top he goes, folks. Over the top and then and then. To the floor he goes. Something like that, I don't know. A smart aleck here, I guess. I'm sorry. Oh! Downward spiral. And the referee's getting in the ring. I think we're gonna start this match soon. Oh man, forget the entrances. I think we're gonna I think the match is gonna be called for. Wow. That referee says it's in the ring. He's going. He says, "Ring the bell." We're gonna get this going here momentarily. Well, the representation of Canada is on the line once again. Edge has decided to put on the line against Elgin because he wants a satisfaction of pinning Elgin to the mat. I give it up to Edge. I mean, he's a com. He's a competitive spirit. He may be a rated R superstar, but he's a competitive spirit. Edge. This one going. 
Oh, I know. Give it a close line. He's gonna, he's gonna hit back for all the uh, beat downs that Edge gave him. In the, oh, wait a minute, but Edge rolled over a DDT. And that'll get get pounded here by Edge. Oh man, there's a stomp to the face. Elgin's going to have no excuses for losing because in order for him to lose this match, it has to be submission or pitfall. No knockout for uh, and in this situation, so he can't complain about that. Oh, Fireman's carried by the 5'11 Mastodon, Michael Elgin. Unbreakable one. The great movie, which was a great movie by Shyamalan. And Elgin going for ground and pound. Ow. Man, busting up edge right now. And, oh, big elbow right across the head. Holy cow. Like I said, once again, here, uh, edge has got to be, oh, gosh. Elgin's concentrating on that neck, basically. That's what he's doing, and... Oh no, what's a cat? Oh gosh. Oh, what's all getting gonna do here? Oh man, wind up elbow. Don't think 245 pounds can be a, a terrorizing force to have that much damage, but when you're built like Elgin, I'll tell you that much right now, it is uh, pretty deadly. Oh! Those are the rolling elbow. Holy cow. That could be it. He may rearrange the edge's face inside and out. El El Elgin. Oh, wait a minute. Elgin catches him, man. Oh, boy. Oh, gosh. Oh, man. Oh, almost. Elgin's having a, he's having a point of his life here against Edge. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Oh. That looked German. You know what? Elgin's a very impressive person. Oh man, he's got that shoulder claw right in the edges. Right trapezius muscle. Edge now coming back here. Oh, I know Elgin beats him on. He had a solution for that, but Edge gets him. Oh, he's trying to put him in that arm? Oh. Trying to pin back on that left arm of Elgin. Oh, wait a minute, Elgin. Oh, no. Oh, right, doll Powerbomb. AKA. Yeah, it was, it, it's that slam that Hardcore Hall used to use it. Now, my mind just went blank. I hate when that happens. Now he's working on the left knee of Edge. This is a good submission. I don't even know that was even a solution. I don't even know that was the uh, objective. Oh, man, yeah, throws him again. There's nothing but Elgin in this matchup. Edge got a few moves in, but Elgin has done nothing but destroy Edge so far. Oh, you know, and Edge keeps denying him. And Elgin looking very frustrated. Oh boy. I don't even want to know what he sent up. Wait a minute. Oh no. Oh! Spiral bomb. And Elgin wins the representation. So he's now representing Kim.
Oh. Elgin wins the match. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no. Come on. Come on, Big Mike. You already have the victory. Come on. Oh, come on. What the hell? You're kidding me. Elgin just stomping away on edge after the victory. Trying to add insult to injury. Wow. Stay tuned, fans. There's going to be more action still coming. I think next matchup is going to be the uh, women's uh, ladder match for the uh, title shot. And there you go right there, the Lucky Six. I call this the Lucky Six ladder match. This Asia calls now wrestling, now wrestling this one tonight because I think, they got, I think she's got another match later on. Now it's going to be Elgin representing Canada. Wow. I'm just changing our left and right here, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go over to the competitors are in this one. Nova. Nova's been putting some high-profile matches since coming back. Diamond. Naomi Osaki. Chris Statlander. Been really impressive as late on uh, cards. Susu Chow. That land is the women's TV champion defeating Dana Brooke. And next week we will have a rematch between Dana Brooke and Miss uh, Statlander on that one. Susu Chow and Miss Wonderland. The Lucky Six ladder match. Whoever wins it gets a Russell Sarah Perry later on. There we go, folks. Let's get this one going. Making her way to the ring from Owina, Japan, the women's Hardcore champion, the hardcore icon and champion. And her opponents, first, from Area 51, the Women's World Television Champion, Chris Sapp Xander Champion. There's Chris Statlander. 
Chris Statlander, she's been an impressive uh, star here as a late. I mean, it's great to see some of these uh, talents here in must see wrestling. Statlanders, the Miami, the Miami Osakis, the uh, Holly Race. I give it up to them. And the Anoxes. from Cleveland, Ohio, Diamond. Diamond, the former Waste, Queen of Wasteland champion, looking to rebound back in a big way. There's the pot of cold uh, holder, but maybe she might not need that briefcase afterwards because she can win herself a towel shot here. She's going to win her second straight ladder match. I'm going to tell you that much right now. Okay, my. And from Columbus, Ohio, Noah! There is Nova. Good to see her back here. Learn that she's been happily married once again to uh, Jerry Bennett and everything else. But Bob Hilston left me a weird text today saying, How, how is Max Cruiser taking this? Because he seems like he's the odd man out. That's what uh, Bob Hilston says. Like, I, you know what? I don't know you. You're going to have to ask Mr. Cruiser himself. When I travel down that path, you go ahead. And there's Miss Wonderland. From Cleveland, Ohio, the Queen. This should be a good one. The objective, well, you know. Come on, everybody knows what the object of a ladder match is, folks. Simple. Climb up that ladder, get that, get that briefcase, and you get that towel shot later on tonight. Always gotta love when there's six women, a ladder, and an opportunity. That's gonna make for quite a uh, opportunity. I'm gonna tell you how much right now.
right now going up the ladder is uh, Diamond. She's going to try to get that uh, contract off the ladder there. Ozaki's going to stop her and brings her down viciously. Taking a landing on a peak and save Diamond for falling. Oh man, and Osaki just takes Statliner face first into the turnbuckle. Oh, Statliner returned to favor by tripping, tripping up the ladder from underneath. This Wonderland taking Statlander down. Osaki misses Nova. to the ultimate warrior. Team Miss Wonderland drop off somebody over with an military plus drop. Oh, what a drop kick by Statland. Saki going right at the time. I guess they're they are they're uh pick up where he left off from that match where she won the big or least game title. Oh miss uh, misses it. Oh, oh, but uh, Stan Leonard with the elbow. Reverse electric chair drop by Statlander. And drop it backwards, she dropped her forwards. The hell of a match up here. Not that much right now. Now Nova going right for Statlander. As uh, McManus has one too, because I heard he's going to be in the match for the vacant TV title later on tonight, along with Corey Clinton, along with RJ Lucas, MS Bourne, a few of the guys in that matchup. Oh, Dude Buster on Nova, a stat lander. That one, of course, the TV champion. She would like to add on to those treasures and accolades. Oh, here we go again. That was not, oh, another two plus. Who made a move made famous by uh, Trent Barrella and Adam Page. And there's an elbow by uh, Diamond as Miss Wonderland goes for the three, that valuable three case. But no avail. Oh, and there's a power bomb for uh, Wonderland's troubles. There's the Unprettier on Stat. Oh, man. Too soon there, I old Stat Lander with the Unprettier. Oh, man. What a. Uh... Holy cow. Oh man, and uh, Nova now nailing Osaki. 
wondering about the question is whether Russell Sarah Perry today. Well, they also have to put up with me. You know what? Uh, well, she's had her entourage put down there at ringside also. Hold on, Raquel. Oh, there's a drop kick off the apron uh, for uh, Nova's chose by Diamond. We all know that Eli Drake's going to wrestle Christopher later on tonight in the main event. As it was a ladder match, as it was a ballroom brawl match to say. And all eight of the people did not ever held the MSW World title. So if Eli Drake gets that opportunity, he eliminate Crick to win that opportunity. Oh, and there's an inch, there's a there's a shiny wizard right in uh, diamond. This is madness, I tell you. Holy cow. Oh, wait a minute. Miss Alice catches her. Oh. Extreme makeover. But, I mean, I'm sorry. No, I keep... You know what? It's going to be hard to remember, remember calling her that. It's like that. It's going to be hard to uh, call Mr. Amazing now, Jerry Bennett. You know, they say you gotta be quick on the uh, when the name changes happen, but uh, you know it's gonna sl you're gonna slip up once in a while. But when somebody says a bad word, it's not even uh, in their uh, speech, basically. Oh man, that valley driver off the uh, top of that ladder. I don't call that two adjustments. It's called a Death Valley driver and me. DVD to me, damn it. Wonder if Susu forgot you can't do pinfalls in a ladder match. Must have. And Osaki. They get Susu Cho over. Wow. I'm going for the gun. Oh, and uh, there she is getting nailed again. And... No, Saki going to try to take that left. Oh, she does. Very successful. And I like your chair drop for her troubles. And Statliner was going to go off the top rope, but. Didn't see a right target to hit, so she just dropped down and uh, now she attacks Nova. I'll tell you, this young breed out here of Osa like the Osakis and the Kylie Rays, the Ashley Boxes, the, uh, the Statlanders, I mean, it's an interesting mix of uh, new talent. Oh, one way to Wonderland. Oh, gosh. Drills her. And, uh-oh, Osaki's got her in trouble. Oh! Power hacker power bomb. Torture rack power bomb, man. Oh, he's used famous by some of the great individuals, and, uh-oh. Oh, shiny wizard. Nails, um, nails Nova's head right in that ladder. I'm actually surprised she's, she may be knocked out. And now Osaki going for the kid. She'd be able to get it this time, or somebody going to stop her. Oh, there's Diamond right there. Oh, it took a combined effort of Diamond Soon she child to knock her off of there and is that letter welcome her with a power bomb. Oh man, and a power bomb from Susan. Power bomb. I'll tell you how much right now. Oh 
Oh, Statlander going for it. She's got a good, she may have a good jump. The TV champ may have a good jump here. And Wonderland and Diamond's gonna knock off the ladder from underneath her. And Statlander, uh oh. Oh, missed a spear in mid air. Oh man, Osaki has to learn from that. She got hit. She fell face first. This is a heck of a match. I'm gonna tell you that much right now. Very, very much a heck of a match. I give up to all six of these girls in this match. I said we get six women, a ladder. And an opportunity at a world title later on in the show. It's going to provide some great competition. My God, Nova won it. In her second matchup, she's going to get a uh, women's title shot. Holy cow. Give it up to her. Wow. I guess the Nova Sarah Perry war is going to continue. Or I should say, Sarah Superfans and the Allison Obsidian war is going to continue. You know, six women. Because Obsidian's got a. Uh, Rematch against Mona and Raquel later on. Those women's tag team titles. Here there you go, winner, right there, Nova. Nova. The question is how good of a shape she's going to be in when that time rolls around. Well, stay tuned, fans. No holds barred. All this against Kenny. Winner take all. A lot, lot on the line. Gonna be a real interesting battle here between Aldous and Ke Kenny tonight. Wow. All right, folks. I'm gonna go use facilities real quick while they're calling out the introductions. Making his way to the ring from Norwich, England, weighing in at 248 pounds, the National Wrestling Alliance World Heavyweight Champion, Nick Alex Champion. There's the NWA World Champion. That's one of two titles on the line. Nick Aldis, the world champion. 
the NWA World Champion, I should say. Yeah, I mean, Guys, if you want to check out a real interesting uh, horror show, uh, movie, uh, sh horror host movie show on uh, YouTube, check out The Mummy and the Monkey. That's right, Jay and Decay and Grim Corey with you every Friday night at 10 o'clock on YouTube. Facebook. And his opponent. From Cleveland, Ohio, weighing in at 260 pounds. Okay, take that back. The it's not Universal it's not Heavyweight on Champion, the Urban show to Gladiator watch. Champion. Here we go, folks, and oh, Kenny, run, run over all of this. Now, be careful when you go against Kenny. I'll tell you how much right now. Uh, when you go against Kenny, he run. He, oh, but all this shot, uh, showing the smart technical wrestling way of doing this. I'm gonna stop the uh, big guy. Oh man. Pick to the back again. Oh, wait a minute. What the heck's going on here? And all this, uh, thinking something's going on here. Does Nick all this look? Oh, wait a minute. It's Croyton. Oh, God. Lady. He just nailed all. Oh. I and mean, the referee did not even see it. Holy snot on a stick, Batman. Oh, wow, well, no wonder you want to know Holt's bar. Oh, man, T Bolt power slam by Kenny. You gotta be careful. If you see Kenny, you're gonna see, you're gonna see Crichton. And if you see Crichton, you are definitely gonna see Kenny. These two work as a tandem. Oh, this is going to be able to come back from this. Now he's doing pretty well here. All this comes back and beats Kenny to win the Universal title after Croyton uh, interfered. And that's going to be uh, really something else in the uh, face of uh, the winner's Now twisting all this his head like a bottle cap. It's Kenny. Kenny's looking at him like a bottle of burger soda when he does that. Because one of Kenny's favorite drinks, I guess. Since he doesn't uh he doesn't he doesn't go with the sauce anymore. He says only his only addiction is eating the heck out of somebody, and that's what he's doing to all of us right now. Oh man, what a need to the face. I mean all this, he's an enigma, I'm gonna tell you that much right now. He likes to do things honorably, but it's also very deceptive in some of his plans. In this matchup, he may be the fan favorite here against Kenny. 
he does have his share of fans. I'll tell you that much right now. And oh man, oh pile driver. She does a sub for the uh, Kenny Claw, but looks like he's got he can do enough there. Whip out. Oh man, I mean, right there. Kenny, uh oh, is he looking to finish off all this here? Oh, oh no, he doesn't get it. Uh, oh, all this with a beautiful car. Oh man, and uh, Kenny catches all this off guard, and uh oh, again, this has got to be suplex number five for Kenny. Each one of those suplexes he hit was nasty. And Kenny with those uh, fists, he's known, he's known for that vicious, uh, his vicious punches. Oh, and once again, the overpowering shoulder block, especially when he put draw, oh, but all this figuring out the way. Right now, all this has Tenny under his control. Oh, wait a minute. Kenny just beat him to the punch and... Oh! Number six. Those nasty Scottish bomber suplexes. He doesn't call it German suplex. He calls it a Scottish bomber. And now... He's got all this in trouble. There's that dragon sleeper. He lets go, but you know what? That might have done enough damage. One Nick Aldis. Now the bottle cap neck twist. I like calling it. Because it's almost like twisting the uh, cap off a bottle. Won't put a pin. One, two. Oh, all this gets out of it. Denies Kenny once again. How much more of this can all this take? And once again, there it is, the dragon sleep. Oh, wait a minute, all this fighting this way out of a couple pieces of face. Uh oh. All this set it up. Samoa drop. Beautifully caught. All this, I thought all this was bleeding out his head again there. Oh! Man, what's straight by all this? There's the elbow. Going for the pin. And he gets it. No, this is the Universal Champion. Are, are you kidding me? Wow. All this just won the Universal title. Wow. Holy cow, all this just won the title. Ah, uh, Taco Motor. Oh, man, boo. But that means all. Here is your winner. Naito Kenta and Clayton for the IWGP title come up February 9th in Japan at, a new J at IWGP New Japan Wrestling, a new beginning. Oh, man. All of this denying Kenny.
stay tuned folks we we're gonna have a 15 minute, minute intermission and then we are going to uh, have segment two stay tuned